Hello again, um, July 2nd, and I'm going through a very different landscape. Uh, it feels almost like if I were on the surface of the moon. If you look at that um, ground, it looks like if it's sediment of some form, and possibly in terms of geological uh, Turns, it must have been either the bottom of a lake or the bottom of a sea where silt basically um, collected over tens of hundreds of thousands of years actually it's not thousands it's it's in fact it's millions um, and we see then over here a variety of pebbles um, the fact that the stones are worn out means there is great degree of erosion. Uh, you can see over there in that crevice, um, that little depression, how the rock, uh, the heaviest rock seems to gather there. And then you can see up above, there's some surfaces that are actually quite hard and different layers with rock uh, that is in between um, so it's, it's very interesting it is not a common sight it's unusual it's well it feels like if I'm in some very foreign very foreign territory and going from this we always come and see our beautiful flowers those we cannot miss and different well you know, different wildflowers. I've been fascinated by the variety throughout the, the trip and we're going here from white ones to purple ones to red ones. Oh, to look at these lovely ones over here. Oh, these are pretty. Um, and then going back to the rock again, you see how the erosion is, is doing its work. It's, oh, look at this. Oh, look at these rocks. I mean, if I were to take a guess, in some cases, they might even look like trunks, tree trunks, petrified, which by the way, it might not be completely off, since we, um, there are some Anasazi settlements uh, further up, and they do have petrified, look at that one, look at that rock there at the bottom, it looks like a tree trunk of some sort. Um, so look at this, it's it's fascinating. Ah, oh, look at these. Okay, oh, these were the rocks I was talking about. Look how the erosion works around them. So you have these very hard, heavy rocks that are still standing, and the ground around them has been washed away. And then we have those, uh, you know, like small chambers, same, same situation. So the erosion is phenomenal. Uh, over here, same effect. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, look at that. And then again, you look at those rocks. Uh, I'm not much of a geologist, but I would guarantee, I would almost bet, you might find petrified um, wood, petrified tree trunks, um, just because of the pattern that I'm seeing. Um, much erosion and this is what makes Utah so beautiful um, nature uh, producing these lovely works of art uh, here again we see it in that little uh, depression there how the heavier rocks seem to collect and be washed down to the center and it helps cut into the mountain and eventually these are the ones that become hoodoos uh, which were the ones we saw in Bryce Canyon. It starts out like like this, but of course it takes mil millions of years. And again, you know, it's something to reflect on because it just tells us how small, how minute, what a speck of dust we are in the entire creation. Um, it is something to, to really try to grasp, but at the same time, you know, I'm always fascinated how we live in hundreds, thousands, 
hundreds of thousands of light years from other st stellar systems, we are nonetheless able to determine the composition of the different stars, what, what elements they have. So, you know, the wonders of science, what man can do when he or she, uh, you know, we put our, our brains and our, our talents in, to work rather than, you know, wasting time fighting useless battles here on Earth. And I'm, now I'm talking about the actual violence. It is, it puts us back so many centuries in terms of development because we are narrow-minded and we need to fight that mentality and understand that getting along is, is economically actually a very good thing.